Hello YouTube. So today I am going to read my parody fan fiction called Crossover Romance for my 50 subscriber uh, milestone. So I'm going to read the first chapter. Hopefully I don't need any water right now. Um, this will be divided into a few chapters. Uh, parts just so I can appease YouTube I don't think that's a word anyway just so the YouTube gods are pleased I will shorten these to 10 minutes now a re enough rambling let's get into chapter 1 bodega oh should probably get some info as well I'm so stupid so this story is a parody of fan fiction and its tropes. The story follows K.O. from OKKO, OK Gumball from The Amazing World of Gumball, and Steven from Steven Universe, as they fall in love with various Cartoon Network characters. I've had some trouble with figuring out the tone of each chapter so that it flows well, but I hope you like it. By the way, this was made by me. Woohoo. Chapter 1, Bodega. Third person KO's point of view. Ding! Greetings, KO. I have come to buy some bubble gum for my sister. She's currently addicted, Dendy told KO. Okay. Wait, you don't have a sister. You lied, he replied. Affirmative. I lied. I've come to socialize with you, KO blushed. No, that's so sweet. A few hours passed when a figure stepped into the bodega. K.O. was talking to Dendi about, about Rad and Enid and how cool they were when a person stepped into view. Where is Garnet? The person spoke. Gasp! <laughs> Gasp! Bruh. Gumball! Oh, how I've missed our sweet conversations about love. Oh, and science! Dendi said as she swooned over Gumball's oversized hips yeah <laughs> whoa whoa hey now he didn't you don't need to be be all lovey-dovey over me by the way didn't we break up gumball replied with such haste a bee couldn't pass the two mismatched characters <laughs> that's so bad oh yeah dendy replied now where's garnet i'm here the tall woman appeared with wearing a beach dress oh there you are Let's go, Gumball said. Then the two left. Oh, they grow up so fast, another person dreamily said. Oh, hey, Uncle Grandpa. How's your day? K.O. said. Oh, good morning, Dendi and K.O. Peter Steve is getting chased by Amethyst because she thinks up some weird stuff. Okay, <laughs> he replied. He ushered the beautiful boy into the storeroom. How's your girlfriend? He whispered. What? K.O. screamed as if he was a meme, and then the goofy grandpa did something a little weird. I am Dendi. I would like to be your girlfriend, Uncle Grandpa impersonated the nerdy girl. K.O. blushed so hard. Suddenly, Dendi walked into the room, and Uncle Grandpa disappeared. Hello, K.O. I need to tell you something, Dendi spoke, fluttering so nervously, her pal cards nearly fell out of her bag. Oh, sh that's sure thing. K.O. replied, I, I love you, the love-struck girl stuttered. K.O. was shocked, but kept the expression internal. I love you too, Dendi, he replied. And then the most romantic thing happened. Dendi leaned towards K.O. Knowing what would happen next, he, he leaned forward too. And next thing he knew it, Dendi's lips gently landed on his. The feelings K.O. had for Dendi were even stronger now, and he was afraid to say anything because he was su under such a lovesick expression, it felt wrong. K.O. pulled back. It was too much for a 6 to 11 year old head. Ah, uh, I can't do this, he shouted in frustration and ran out of the, the warehouse, leaving Dendi with the way he was feeling too. Fear, shock, and confusion. We got six minutes left, let's do the next chapter. Third person Gumball's point of view. This one is called The Broken Heart. 
because ah, of course we have to have a V if it's a gumball uh, chapter. Meanwhile, Gumball and Garnet were in the local park watching some residents of the city train for their next possible fights against villains that popped up from time to time. Garnet, I have something to tell you, Gumball spoke without a stutter. Yes, go on. Make this more interesting, Garnet replied. Make what more interesting? The fights. They fight like we- They fight like le yeah. They fight like weaklings. I could easily beat them in a battle. Anyway, what were you going to tell me? I like you, Gumball announced. Too bad, Garnet blankly replied. I'm already taken. By who? Myself, Garnet answered with no emotion as usual. Dang nabbit, I can't have a proper girlfriend. They're always weird, Gumball cursed. Five months ago, he had broken up with the lovely Penny, whom he was in a relationship with her ever since the episode The Shell. Ju but just before he could run off, Garnet replied, Gumball, wait! Before I go, I need to show you the full story. Garnet unfused. Wait, wh what the what? Gumball shouted in confusion. He had no idea that his crush was two smaller beings. Uh, hello Gumball, I'm Sapphire, and this is my partner Ruby. We married each other a few months ago, Sapphire said. Gumball ran away. So that will be it for today. Um, the next chapter, Isn't It Love, is a very long chapter, so that's gonna be in its own video in about five minutes time, so stick around for that, and also check out my DeviantArt, um, maybe my Reddit, by the way, I just got Reddit yesterday, I think, I'm at the Steven Universe Kid, if you wanna check me out. And also, subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> Alright, bye.